Hi there, Alan here. Um, I'm going to show you a wee trick that I did uh, using Reaper. It's an evaluation copy, I'm helping a friend out um, how to use it. But um, besides the point, um, I've got a, a little um, Nano Control 2 and it's a, a small control surface which allows you to, to um, control parameters within any uh, DAW. Now, uh, what I'm using the Nano for is each little button here is assignable to a controller message and it can receive controller messages as much as send them out. So what I've got going on here is I've got an audio track and I've created this um, uh, basically an effects track which I'm going to send to this from this track to that track um, the level of so as I turn that up what you'll see is basically I'm turning a MIDI device into a, a VU sort of meter now I've basically programmed the difference between each segment to be two decibels how I do that is I'll turn this down how I do that is in here I've got an effects chain using um, this free uh, little plugin called uh, well insert pis here is the company but it's called uh, audio to continuous controller so basically you set up the continuous controller for both the left and right channel and you can change a whole load of parameters in here but basically all I did was basically says to it over here turn um, it on when it reaches 10 and turn it off when it reaches 0 and if you look at the gain here as I change the each insert I'm basically just turning the gain down by a couple of dBs each time um, for various uh, controller messages so it basically is changing um, various uh, pairs of lights on the Nano so as you can see Go back to the nano if I turn the volume up, it goes up, turn it down, it goes down, and of course it's pan left, pan right. Anyway, I thought it was just a good big project and then uh, just get my way, learn uh, my way around the Reaper as well as understanding my nano control a little bit. Okay, so I thought I'd just share that with you. Bye.